What's going on guys, Mark from World of Emulation here, and on this guide, I'll show you how to set up your PS3 emulator. Be sure to note that you are expected to have a decent rig for your computer. The system requirements can be shown on screen. There's going to be three links that you'll need to go to. The first is going to be the emulator's website, which is called rpcs3.net. The second link is going to be the official PlayStation website to download a firmware update. And the third is Rusty PSN which will allow you to update any of your PS3 games. Links are in the description. So for the first link, you are going to click download on whatever operating system you are using, then head over to the second link and scroll until you see update using a computer and download. It may say that it's a potential security risk. Trust me, it is not. Then on this GitHub website, Download the eGUI file on whatever operating system you are using. Then you can exit and you can start extracting the RPCS3 emulator onto a new created folder because if not, all of the files are just going to extract whatever folder that is on screen. You can then delete the zip file and boot up the exe file. A window will pop up letting you know a few things about the emulator, including not allowing piracy. I got to emphasize this, this video will not cover on where to download games. I've gotten several videos taken down and I don't want to take that risk. Checkmark both of these and continue. First things first is to install the firmware. Go to the upper left corner to File and Install Firmware. Click on the PS3 Update.pup. Let's also set our games directory. If you click on add games, you get to select a folder that contains all of your games. Our PS3 has already made one for you, so I'm just going to select this folder. Right now on this folder, I don't have anything on screen, so I'm just going to put all my games onto that games directory. There will be rare cases where the games do not show up, and it's possible that your game is in a PKG format. So go back in the top and select install PKG slash wrap files. Then click on that folder and select both PKG and wrap files. It'll ask you if you want to pre-compile your games so that next time it will boot up faster. This is up to you, but either way, you will have to pre-compile when booting up any game for the first time. To update our games, we want to extract the Rusty PSN application onto the RPCS3 folder as well create a new folder that contains all of our updates. So I'm just going to name this updates, but you can name it however you like. Now click on the Rusty PSN exe file. And click on this gear icon. We will want to direct our download path into the updates folder that we just created. And then save our settings. To find the updates, you will need a title serial number. Heading over to the emulator, you can see that all of these have serial numbers. You can copy them by right clicking on the game, copy info, then serial, and paste it onto the Rusty PSN application. I'm using God of War Ascension as an example because this has multiple updates, and you need to install all of the updates for it to work. So click on download and wait for it to finish. Then you will install the PKG the same way you install a game. Be sure to install all the updates that you got. Installing the DLCs will also be the exact same steps. Be sure that the region of the DLC is matching the base game. After that is done, 
If you check the version, it should be updated. Now let's configure our settings on the top, starting with CPU. Most of these settings will be on default, but check mark enable SPU loop detection. Then on the GPU tab, be sure to use Vulkan because it is by far the best renderer for this emulator. Then set the anastropic filter to 16x. In order to adjust the resolution of our game, be sure to use this slider and not the one above it. And check mark async texture streaming. Then hit apply and then save. Now you are done with all the basic config settings. However, for the best results for specific games, I'd recommend using the wiki to see the best settings by simply searching the game. So for example, I'm gonna type in Demon Souls and change the settings from there. Right clicking the game, you have the option to create a custom config for that game. Just be sure to use it from global settings. Now let's head over to Manage and click Game Patches. This is different from Updates. Uh, essentially, this is for modding or enhancing our game, whether it's fixing the game, skipping intros, or unlocking frame rates. So update the patches and click to only show own games. Then you can just select whatever it is to your liking. So for example, I'm going to be selecting unlock frame rates to show you that you can play Demon Souls in 60 FPS. Then hit apply and then save. For controller settings, you're going to click pad. The handler drop down menu will list all the controllers you can use. I'm using an Xbox controller, so I'll select X input and be sure that is on the correct device. And it will automatically map it for you. And if you want to rebind your controller settings, you can of course do that in here. Now you should be all set. Uh, this is a very quick guide on this emulator, but really, all the default settings should be okay with a few exceptions and of course specific games. But just to let you know that the first time playing all of these games, you'll experience stutters and visual pop-ups. But that is because it is compiling shaders, it'll be much better the second time playing. Also in the future, there will be a PS4 emulator tutorial in maybe a couple months, because right now there's a lot of talk about Bloodborne that's going in-game, so I want to be on that as quick as possible for you guys. That's all for this video, please leave a like if you found this guide helpful, and subscribe for more RPCS3 and emulator coverage. See you guys in the next video.